I hate the double standards of how we name things when they're discovered by Europeans as opposed to non-Europeans, especially in math and science. That normally we name things after the person who discovered them to honor their work and their legacy, you know, like Gauss's law, Euler's identity, Bernoulli's principle. But what a Muslim does it? Al Kharaji's theorem? No. Actually, we're gonna call that one the binomial theorem. Or Al Kashi's law? No, actually, that's the law of cosines. The most frustrating one to me has to be quadratic formula because it's so important in mathematics and it's so ubiquitous. Like every high schooler's heard about it. And it involves two of the most most brilliant minds in all the history of mathematics, Brahmagupta and Al Khwarizmi, and we called it the quadratic formula. And the worst part is the stolen credit, like Snell's law, not discovered by Snell, discovered by Ibn Sahil 600 years earlier. Fibonacci sequence, not Fibonacci, known in India for hundreds of years. Pascal's triangle, not discovered by Pascal, known by the Persians and before them the Chinese. Even the Pythagorean theorem, not discovered by Pythagoras, known in Babylon, ancient Egypt, ancient India, feels like a missed opportunity to teach people how many different cultures contributed to our understanding of the world. 